Hey there YouTube and welcome to my second winter eBay purchase video, my second of four videos. This vo video is going to show all my other trading cards and photo cards, signed, unsigned, that I purchased during the winter on eBay. My first video showed you those three big photo card auctions that I had purchased and um, well this one's going to show all the other cards and photo cards. So this is in the order with which I received them throughout the winter. I'll let you know how much I paid for them. I'll, which will include the price of shipping and tax. So I got some nice stuff here, which I really enjoy it. Hope you will as well. First off, I bought one of these, and then I bought another one. This one's for my collection then. I have a Kent Colvie 1988 Topps autograph card. No doubts about the authenticity of that. I've gotten his autograph in person. Oh, shoot. I'm going to guess at least six times. I paid $2.11. That's with tax and shipping. Next up, I purchased two of these Steelers, Kiwanis, Giant Eagle, Police sets, however you want to call them there. They were... Anyway, let me just go ahead and show you, because I have some really cool Pittsburgh Steelers potential TTM fuel here with, uh, let's see, well, he signed for a little bit. Hall of Famer. He signed for a time period, maybe five, six years ago, I sent to him. I haven't even looked into him since then. I'm not sure about him. He's passed on Hall of Famer. I think he signs. He signs with a fee, I believe. He signs. He signs. Hall of Famer. He signs with a $5 fee. Don't know. He signs. Um, he doesn't sign. Hall of Famer. I mean, he's not around, obviously. Uh, no... No, this is the other set. This is the other set. I believe this was 1985 and 1987 sets. Hall of Famer, if I recall, he signs, or at least did. He signs. Not sure. Hall of Famer. I think he signs, but I'm not sure. He signs. I believe he does with a fee. Uh, Hall of Famer. He signs with a fee. He signs. Hall of Famer. So I believe this was the 1985 and 1987 sets, but in any case, very cool. That with shipping and tax was seven dollars sixteen cents next up we have three signed pirates photo cards that i bought in a lot the total was 12.99 and the reason why i wanted it i really wanted this laney for terry he was a longtime pirates broadcaster did a really good job also included the manager who was also a coach but he was the manager at this time gene lamont and as a broadcaster at the time steve blass great pitcher really enjoy listening to him still does the broadcasting next and that was $12.99 next one I got a 4 by 6 I was signed for $4.22 and when you get a chance for a rare one you gotta go for it and this was a rare one Zach Von Rosenberg who I believe as of right now is a punter for LSU <laughs> but you don't pass up this opportunity to get a cheap one so I added a cool one to my collection there. I have another 4x6 photo card. I have never, ever seen one of these of him before. So I paid up a little bit, $6.36. So 6 bucks shipped with tax. Jason Aramio, never seen one of the team-issued photo cards with his picture on and signed before. So I had to get that one. And then also picked up a Kenta Calvi. I think I have this exact one, but for $5.29, it was worth it because I was looking to buy some more. And if I don't, I'm going to be really happy that I have this particular exact one. Next up, I purchased four unsigned photo cards. But Jim Colburn was the pitching coach from an ATTMs. I got all four of these. I paid up a little bit for these, $12.95, tax and shipping. So I think it was like, two and a quarter for each one plus shipping and tax anyway he ttms he ttms as well remember the 79 world series team but jim colburn had a nice career as a pitcher pitcher oh i just blanked out for a moment jim tracy ttms he was the former manager of the pirates manager of the year somewhere i think gene lamont was too and the pirate parrot i've never gotten anything signed in person by pirate parrot yeah maybe i should change that Okay, next up I have a trading card that I paid $6.35, $5.99 plus the shipping, or I was with shipping and then tax. I saw this card, I, he had just passed away not too long ago, and I'm like, this is some random local card, Toyota Charlotte, 
Smitty's baseball cards. I'm like, this is a locally made card. And it's signed by him. I'm buying that. Two more to show you. This is from the 1995 Signature Rookie Set. This company, I remember as a kid, thinking it was so cool they had packs of cards where it was one autograph per pack. <laughs> I mean, the number, they were numbered real high. I mean, that might seem insane nowadays, I mean, but nowadays the prices are insane. I paid $4.23 total for this Esteban Loiza, and I'm pretty sure you're not getting autographs with this guy anytime soon, unfortunately. So that's a rookie auto. Good stuff. And last, $5.29. We got Spanky Mike Lavalier, former catcher, gold glove catcher for the Pirates. Nice guy, one of them in person. So this was a very easy purchase. So I got some nice photo cards from my collection, plus some trading cards as well. So thank you for checking out my second video. My first one was an amazing deal with some serious quantity. The second one was pretty good too. I got two more to show you for my winter eBay purchases. The third one will be three autographed baseballs because I have a humongous hundreds of autographed baseballs. That's my favorite thing to collect. And then my fourth video will show my signed photos and unsigned items that I got. So I upload a TTM video on Monday, and then I upload an autograph or trading card video such as this on Wednesday and Saturday. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.